Hello, gamers of the Game Report. Welcome back to another episode of Hearthstone Arena Mode. So, uh, I have an arena deck right now that is 1 and 0, but on the deck tracker I just added it, it's 0-0, uh, zero, zero, so it'll be off by one win every time. So whatever the total is on the deck tracker, add one. Easy peasy. Uh, so this deck, you can see I have triple flame strike, double polymorph, double evil heckler, um... I think I also have polymorphs. Yeah, so yeah, the double polymorph. Um, I have some secret synergy, and I have really strong minions as well as a pyroblast for the insane light game. So the deck is 1 0. Um, it also has pretty decent late game because I have Mukla's and Cavaldir. Uh, I basically want to mulligan for my 1 1 drop or some 2 drops. Uh, it has an okay curve, uh, basically, yeah, I just want a one or two drop, especially in the early game, uh, especially into Hunter, so, yeah. I got a two drop, not the best two drop, but at least it forces him to do something about it. I probably won't coin it because I don't have another two drop to play, um, we'd want to coin out like a four drop, for example, this game, to curve out properly. Um, and hope that I draw other good cards in the meantime. So the deck can fall behind slightly, uh, because of the, like, technically lack of early game. I have, like, one one drop, so the deck relies on the board clears and high value cards like Polymorph, etc. High tempo cards. Uh, so he had Secret Synergy. That's not good. I guess I should just go for the evil heckler. Snipe would have punished it really hard, but the odds of him actually picking Snipe were pretty low, so it's probably explosive or freezing, meaning I most likely do not want to attack um, a minion. Especially if he doesn't attack, it kind of gives it away. Okay, so he's going to trade, which is fine. That means I traded my 4-drop for his 3-drop, including the Dark Iron Dwarf uh, power... Um, so I think I should just play Hungry Dragon because of the value of a 5-6 compared to a 2-6. He gets to trade his board into it, which is fine, trading 4-drop for 4-drop. Um, again, I'm pretty happy with the late game in the deck, so I'm okay with going even like this, especially for such a terrible start that I had. Uh, oh no. No, please. What is that? Quick shot? Kill command. With a beast. So he kills it just with a Lepernum. So I don't have a proper 5 drop. So this is where it gets interesting. Do I play the 2-6 or do I Flame Lance? I think I just play the 2-6 and hope to god I don't lose too hard. Um, this is the... Probably best arena draft I've had in a couple drafts, so I hope to do quite well with it. This guy's deck is pretty good. He had a pretty good start, and uh, he actually had secret synergy. That's pretty weak. Hopefully he didn't trade, and now I get to just kill his thing for free. So he, yeah, he didn't trade, uh, so I'll kill this. That's not explosive trap. Um, I think... Save myself one health or save the flame lines and play it with tempo. I think Boulder Fist is actually stronger here because a 1 8 isn't actually a big threat. Another secret. Explosive shot. That's okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's not, um, it's not freezing. Again, I don't think the one drop, the one attack minion is that big of a threat. Um, I don't know. We'll see. This is a tough game. I'm really fucking low against this, and I have no heals or anything in the deck. I have one other taunt. I'm pretty fucking screwed. Wow, multi-shot. Power. 
I basically need to start building up a Cavaldir right now, or else I'm already, it's already too late, basically. If it's explosive, I'm basically fucked anyways. One day, I'll be a real nice Might as well go for it. Because if it's explosive, I'm screwed anyways. Why does it have a misdirection? Why did it let me re-attack? Oh, because the target it was going to attack died. That's an interesting interaction. That's really fucked up. I've never seen that before because no one runs misdirection. So, like, you see how this game, it didn't matter what I had in flame strikes and stuff because just the amount of face damage you could do without heals or um, taunts really just fucks me. In a late game scenario, though, um, clearly I can outlast him. Uh, it's just obviously surviving against a hunter that has a deck like that. He had a lot of very, very powerful cards, and uh, that was definitely not not a fun game. Why is it showing my hmm? Jaina versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. You asked for it. Got a micro machine again. The shadow in the shadow in Gonsons. I think I'm just gonna hear a power coin on uh, here. Coin hero power. My mouth very, very close. Yeah, you get fucked. Go for the micro machine. For a little guy, can I pack a big punch? For a little punch? guy, I pack a big punch. Unfortunately, I don't have a three drop. Well met. Really? Why would he? I'm just gonna. I... He just needed a minion. He didn't have a better three drop, I guess. I know you, Tron. Well, that's like useless. If I can break. Wow, I drew all three flame strikes. So like, yeah, I win in the late game. We just have to hit turn seven, and I'll just flame strike, flame strike, flame strike him. Right? Right. Okay. That's what I thought he'd do. So I can... I can ping it for two. Kill that and polymorph bore into that. Hmm. Or I can ping this. Tag. Trade. And he still can't kill it. That was a good play. No. Darn.
Hmm. You're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. So yeah, flame strike, flame strike, flame strike, flame strike. Pretty fun. Pretty fun having triple flame strike in a deck. Heals bad man. Oh yeah, every time he attacks with that, it kills him instead of healing him because he played a Johnny Swell Priest. Fucking genius. Interesting. Your magic shall not save you. Thought steel. Not my deck. Wanted. At least he can't get flame strikes. Nice. Four flame strikes. Well, oh, he's gonna be real fucking mad if he doesn't trade this. Okay, that's fine. Good trade. Lowly Squire. One day, I'll be a real <laughs> All right. I'm fine with whatever he does here. I have a 3 3 Lowly Squire. This Lowly Squire is gonna carry me to victory. Why won't he play the fucking cards he drew? Or took from my deck? Okay, so that's what he drew. This is what he got from it. This is what he got from Thought Steel. Wait. Oh, Spell Slinger. Okay, the other one's what he got from Thought Steel. Did he really just go into. Uh. Well played. He took more damage, but he kept his minion alive. Well played, well played. So that was the one created by the by the spell slinger, right? but he's mad. I'll get even more mad when I keep doing it. Well, there's like no point in doing it to that. So I might as well have all do. It didn't matter how big I could get that or how like we I could make his field. Okay, flame strike again. And I guess our all iron beak nothing. Uh, I just want to know how mad he starts to get as I continue to just flame strike and flame strike and flame strike. This is the joy of the deck. Oh, great. Mind blast. Uh-huh. Okay. We have many secrets. Get out of here. Time to get ready. I need to push for the damage because I could just lethal him next turn. One off lethal. Not too off lethal. <laughs> too many spells, not enough minions. Well, if he doesn't heal anymore, I have exact lethal. Why wouldn't he do that first to see what he draws? Okay. Well played. Well played. For Dalaran. Nice. Deck for kings. Opie opie. Jane! 
Arena. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. Not bad. I keep getting the micro machine opening. I want the flame juggler or the mad bomber uh, or lowly swire, of course. Those would be my best options for early game, but I'll take it. So his mulligan was the third card. His fifth card is the coin. Sixth card is the draw of first, first turn, and second turn is that one. Hero power. Okay, I think I'm just going to play the blood knight. Just playing curve. Glory to the um, it doesn't matter about getting value out of it because this is value. Just playing it and making him try to come back on the board is enough value for me. Especially if he doesn't have any plays. And it's just really good. Coined out his zero, his last card of his hand. Flame cannon. Alright, so I got a flame cannon for that. Not bad. And his coin. So I can just taunt up or play the 2-6. I think that... It, it doesn't really matter what I play. So I'll just play the higher attack minion just in case he plays a high health minion. Uh, this plays around the most stuff. Uh, so that's what he's been saving since his opening hand. He really wanted it. <clears throat> I guess I'll just... Play... Frigid. Because now my blizzard gets ridiculous effect or value next turn if he plays a lot of minions that have low health. It's not very likely, but we can hope. Because the odds of him killing it and playing a lot of minions is very low. Uh, so he fireballed that. And face. Right. You would think the logical play would be to go face with that. Why would he trade? So I'm just going to play this, ping face, because there's no point in hitting the, the water elemental at its current state. So now I have many options in the next turn. I can Muckless, Champion, Cavaldir, Blizzard, Bull Flame Lance, literally a million options. So we will see what I end up doing, but for now, this is the setup. I can literally play everything and ping next turn. Like one of one, one of the things. Ooh, That's not even that strong. Okay. So I'm just gonna go for the Cavaldir then. Wait. I think this is stronger. Um, because if there's a lot of things he could have to kill the Cavaldir with six health, but uh, that has nothing, no answers. Except for Flame Lines Ping. So it was a lot more likely that it survives. Um, I'm gonna go for it now though. Since now I have two big threats he has to deal with, and uh, well, I guess he could trade Tiger and Ping. I'm fine with that. Because he still has the 5 9 to deal with. He wants that extra draw. So I can Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber ping Mukla. Or Mukla ping. So I'm going to be going for that. Hopefully it kills the... Uh, the cult. Well. I could just go for the guaranteed kill on the, on the cult master. Since what are the odds of that hitting it? Hmm. What to do? What to do? Guaranteed kill. Mad bomber.
He would need flame strike ping right now. Is that flame strike? I don't think he'd even think about it. Kraken face. You win. <laughs> wow. Well, three and one. Easy arena. Oh yeah, guys, for, for the first time ever, I have 12 wins in arena. I got a 12 win run. Just thought you guys should know that. I got a 12 win run. It was easy, Kappa. No, I'm not even sure what happened. Basically, I I went 5-0, lost two in a row. I was 5-2, and then I didn't expect it to happen, but I legitimately just won every single game after that, and... It was it was interesting to say the least. I think I got extremely lucky with the draws and it just felt like the opponents weren't drawing the right cards. Like they seemed to not have any answers or any early game in like four games in a row. So just everything lined up. It was a perfect setup and uh I got the win. So this hand gets the best result out of him having a minion that I can silence. Guess I'll be silencing that. Just hope he doesn't hero power trade. He should, but he doesn't know that. He knew that. Can I draw my effigy, please? Nope. Guess I'll be playing this by itself. We have many secrets. Funnel cakes! Get your funnel cakes here! <laughs> you funnel caked me. Older Fist. I guess I'll coin out Blizzard or coin out Boulder Fist next turn. Depending. Probably Boulder Fist. Depending on if he plays a lot of fucking two health minions. I literally just drew all my late game, by the way. These are these games where I go, well, what did y'all want me to do, man? It's pretty unlucky. And I can go for the Blizzard next turn and then the Flame Strike. Blizzarding this turn did nothing. This is where my deck takes over though. Because they don't expect me to have triple flame strike uh, uh, and a blizzard. And then double polymorph. Like, it's just so stupid. The deck is crazy. But at the same time, you could see the problems that it can run into. Like that hunter game I lost. Purely just because he just rushes me down to health. Seems like a mistake. Attack. Thank you. Hero power. Attack. Nice. Another minion? Holy shit, this blizzard just got a lot of value. I'm sorry. That could just win me the game right now. Flame Lance, Starfire. Oh yeah, he's fucking Druid. What the hell was I thinking? What is that? Living Roots? Okay. I think I just go for the Flame Strike. Guaranteed. He just had so much board control. Play all your minions again, yes. No, no, don't buff it. Oh, God. Hmm.
Hmm. I think I just go for the Captain Grimunger and see if he trades. If not, I just flame strike and ping. He could just push for the 9 damage. If he has combo, I just die. But combo in arena is pretty unlikely, usually. Well, we are at 3 and 1. Anything could happen, I guess. Take a walk Another in the buff. Side. Holy shit. Oh my god. Took his things out of range. That's crazy. What the fuck? I almost think Mad Bomber would be a viable option here. See what happens. Base. My minion and fucking worthless. So don't I just basically lose because of unluckiness? Yeah, I fucking lose. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So flame lance that trade that does nothing. Flame strike does absolutely fucking nothing. Oh yeah, I get to flame lance ping, so I can kill that with that. Flame lance. Well, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Just show what I'm able to do. Fuck me. That amount of buffs for his field is fucking insane. Flame strike wasn't enough. This is where you you get unlucky with an arena draft that's so gr crazy. Bad start, and then I just got rushed down. And uh, his minions were buffed out of range of a flame strike. All of them, all of them. It's crazy. After I just flame striked him too. And I blizzard did him. Jaina versus Valera. <laughs> Interesting. So I have a lot of four drops. I don't want them. I don't want even these three drops. I don't think I'll keep the Kieran Kier Tormage, I think. And then throw everything else back. Hope for some two drops. Can I please have my flame? Oh my god. I just want the flame juggler or the fucking mad bomber in my opening hand once. One good fucking opening hand, please. Jesus. He only mulliganed one card. Okay, here I got the lowly squire. One day, I'll be a real knight. Much better. Drink with me, friend. Mm hmm. Can I please draw my effigy? Greetings from beyond the grave. One day, I'll be a real knight. We have many secrets. We'll just play the Kirin Tormage, see what happens. I'm gonna save the coin this time. See what I can do. Just feel like I'm gonna get rushed down again. Would he attack with weapon and lowly square to keep his 3-3 up? I think that's a good play. That is the play. Yep. Run away. Dragonkin. I think I just have to play the Hunger Dragon. Okay. Finish this game up and then I'm gonna go make some food. Burgle! So he has two Burgle cards on turn five. What did he get? No fucking way, he got Frostbolt. 
God damn it. Blizzard and Flame Strike are even more valuable. Full greed mode hype. At least this way I have a uh, spell damage where with Dragon Kid, it honestly just gets fucked. Mm hmm. We must cleanse the sun well. I'm sorry. There we go. We've reached that point in the game where I can hopefully take over because of retarded board clears. The only problem is getting to this point in the game usually is a problem. Since somehow I continue to not draw my early game. So I can flame strike. I could flame strike. I almost think it's worth it because of the amount of value I get off of it again. I'm sorry. Well played. <laughs> well played. Hey, he's mad. My mouth very, very flows. I'm sorry. I usually work I'm sorry. Sorry. Are you fucking kidding me? I'll put a stop to that. Flame strike, flame strike, flame strike. So many options. You don't really have that many options, actually. You only have two cards. Not very many options, really. I have a lot of options. Like, my next turn is probably Frigid, Snowball, Dang, Luckless Champ, Hero Power. Please trade your weapon in, in Frigidian. Yes. Yes, do it. Betrayal. Oh my god. Motherfucker. Kill this. Flame lance that. Play that fucker.
the king. Really? Decent, decent trade for me. So I have one, uh, nine, eleven. So. Well played. Well played. I don't think well there was a single card he could top deck to win unless he had a draw card that drew into like two of his raids. Or I get how much is burgle? Is it burgle two? If he burgled into two fireballs. Hmm. You know this guy's man. He oh. did do a double flame strike and blizzard. Pretty ridiculous, I know. Gosh, this deck should be so much better. Four and two, though. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did. Leave a comment in the comment section below about my triple flame strike and double polymorph deck. Leave a like if you guys liked the video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and I'll and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.